Yeah. This place this family must be cursed, they just dying left and right dude. Race flags, so for the AM, for the stadium, flight time for the PM. Duties. Got Dawn, sweep trash, got some off on your Craig, be a baby. Be a baby. <laughs> Routine, jump rope, jumping push, crunches, run the mailbox. So long climbing. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. So, this is where she was? Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Thank you. Arcus Island School. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good, almost normal. A little school for the kids, that's pretty cool. But it didn't last. Odin Finch. <laughs> Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Okay, still... After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings.
Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. when Milton disappeared. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Last thing he made, and he just disappeared. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Stories I tell each person with their own uh, personality. Dude, this game is so good. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room, except Lewis. <laughs> Why? Because he has a hookah? <laughs> Every room just has their own uh, personality, they don't touch to it. <laughs> 